welcome. Or welcome back if you're new. Wait, shit. <laughs> Greetings, long time no see, thrift gals. Hi. Welcome. Today we are going on another thrifting excursion, which I feel like I haven't done in so long. So today we're just going to spend the whole day driving around, having a grand old time, and trying to find clothing that excites me. Because right now, this is the only thing that's doing that for me, and I don't want to rely on a blueberry Red Bull for the rest of my life. Why do that when I could rely on other people's used clothing? That's the point of today. I really just want to like drive around and kind of explore this place because I still have no idea where I am most of the time if I go anywhere that isn't my own house. First thrift store I'm super excited about. I've been wanting to come here for so long because I always pass by it on my drive home. They never actually venture inside. So our first thrift store is very creatively called Thrift Store. That's the name of the store. That's it. Just, that's it. I don't know. It looks promising though. And I tend to always find better things at like local thrift stores than like Goodwills and Salvation Armies. So that is our first store that we will venture into. I'm so excited. I got two things that I'm really excited about. Oh wait, three. I didn't try anything on, so we'll have to do that at home. They had dressing rooms, but there's a line and I am impatient. So I'm just hoping for the best. I think it'll be fine, I don't know. Okay, first thing I got is this little like sweater cardigan thing. I've really been upping like my whole grandma style type thing recently because this is all I wear. But it'll be good for the winter because it's not that thick and Florida winters don't really count as winter, so this will do. It's just like a fun little cardigan. And even now that I don't have the white hair anymore, the grandma comments don't have to go away. We can still make it work. The next thing I got, don't think will work out too great for me, but they were just really cute and I didn't want to pass them up. Got this pair of jeans and I mean, they look promising. I have a feeling that they're not going to fit me, but they're high-waisted. They're the perfect wash. They're not skinny jeans, which is honestly the only thing I look for in jeans. We'll just hope for the best, but I have a feeling that these aren't going to fit. But I don't know. They were really cute and like these two just look really pretty together. We're hopeful for that. I don't know. And then the last thing I got, I'm really excited about. I got these earrings and they're just so pretty and cool. And, and as we know, I just love wearing fun earrings. I just really think it adds a fun touch to anything. So I found these. I think they're fun and they're only a dollar. Our next store that we're venturing to is Goodwill. And across the street from it, Salvation Army. Local thrift stores, then like Goodwills and Salvation Army. Let's go in, cheers. I'm gonna rate each of these items because I kind of have a lot to say. First of all, starting off with this one. Oh, this one just really fires me up. I thought that I found the perfect long sleeve workout top, but boy was I in for a wild ride because it has those stupid fucking finger holes. Nothing peeves me off more than shirts with finger holes. I don't understand the point of them. I already have sweaty hands as is, so what is the point of adding fabric there. Okay, think of the scenario. You're at the gym, right? And then you see like the super cute guy. He walks up to you. He tries to hold your hand just off the bat. Just walks up to you. Straight up that. You look like a fucking idiot now because your hand is dripping. Then he never calls you. Would that scenario ever actually happen in real life? Maybe. Do you want to find out with a shirt with finger holes though? No. Zero out of ten. Next. I'll be more civil for the rest of these. This top. I actually quite enjoyed it. I have a lot of similar tops like it, but that's the issue. I have so many similar ones and I never wear them. This was a no-go. Next top, our grandma sweater. What is the point of having a sweater if it doesn't go all the way down? Okay, not like finger hole length extreme, but at least to your wrist. Why can't I find a garment that just goes down to my wrist? Why does it have to be either to my elbows or my fingers? Pick a struggle. Actually, don't pick a struggle. Just be normal. Flawless, obviously, moving on. Biker shorts. I have had a love-hate relationship with biker shorts ever since they became trendy. I've been trying to make them work. I've been trying them out. I just can't do it. I look so stupid in them. Albeit these didn't fit me, so like they were gonna look bad regardless, but biker shorts, not it for me. Okay, these were fun. I like these. They were, I mean, yeah, they were like 10 sizes too big, but they were fun. I didn't get them though. No. so badly. Okay, that was successful too. Yay. I'll give you a haul of the things I got at Goodwill. It was actually really pricey. I mean, I did buy sweaters, but I only got two things and it was like 20 bucks. But I'll show you what I got. This is irritating. I hated that. Oh my god. Why did I think this was going to be something exciting? It was just a plastic baggie in it that I didn't realize. 
I thought there was gonna be like a cool prize in here for me buying it. Okay, well, first thing I got, I didn't show in the try-on portion because I just like grabbed it out of impulse and I didn't try it on, but I feel like it'll be fine. It's like this huge Florida State sweatshirt and it's like an extra large. This is like the school here, so it looks like I fit in and like I'm a student, even though I'm not. And, and I, I don't. don't, but I got this regardless and I really like it. It's very soft, looks comfortable. Didn't try it on, but hoping for the best with her. Okay, next thing I got I'm actually ecstatic about. This is probably my favorite thrifted purchase I've ever made, like, in its entirety. <gasps> and when I picked it up, I was like, yeah, I'm probably not gonna purchase this, but I might as well just try it on for funsies. And then I put it on, and it was a gift from above. Is that the right expression? I don't know. But this is amazing. I picked it up as a joke, and I was like, yeah, maybe I'll get it, I don't know. But this is so good. Okay, first of all, I hate mock necks. I think I look so stupid in them, but somehow this is just perfect. Like, I actually really like it. And I don't know how it's any different from all the others, but somehow, it's just so powerful and I, I, oh my god, it's just amazing. It seemed like it'd be like kind of uncomfy and old since it is super worn in, but it's so soft. I feel like I'm just being coddled by a blanket. The design, amazing. That cat, beautiful. It's like embroidered and stitched and just really good quality. I thought that I would hate this when I tried it on. Man, I was in for a wild ride because this is amazing. It fits so nicely. It like stops at the perfect length. The white outlining trim, just everything about this fits perfectly together. Oh my god, I'm in love. Oh my god, I'm in love. Oh my god, I'm in love. Love, love. Okay, next stop, Salvation Army. Okay, I lied. Instead of Salvation Army, now we're going to a store called Good Samaritan Thrift because, you know, kind of describes me pretty well. Just kidding. I don't know, I just passed by the store and it sounds enticing. Doesn't look too promising from the outside, but we never judge a book by its cover. So let's just head on in and see if anything entices us in there. My hair looks kind of pink, right? I don't know. It looks pink. Okay, we really don't care about my hair. I feel like 90% of my comment section is always just like something involving my hair. And I'm like instigating it by talking about it 24-7. So I'll stop now. Third thrift store. Let's check her out. Woo! 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 Okay, so maybe I'm not a good Samaritan because I didn't find anything in there. It was a really cool store though, like I would definitely go back, but it was just very overwhelming. There was a lot going on. It literally had every imaginable possible thing. So it's just a lot going on and I didn't find anything. Also, I really have to pee. So I was trying to make it quick. I didn't get anything, but that's okay. On to our next and most likely final store, Salvation Army. I really haven't driven anywhere like crazy or like out of my way to like explore my town like I thought I would, but this is fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so I ended up not getting anything here. I was really contemplating like that black cat shirt, but I just know myself. And I know that I'll wear it probably once and then never touch it again, even though I think it's like cute and quirky in the store, but I don't know, just not worth it. Plus I already got a piece of cat attire today that was just perfect. So I think that too is just overkill at this point. So we did not purchase anything here. Um, I'm kind of hungry, so I think we're gonna go home now. Hello. I think I'm gonna end this video here because no more thrifting's happening today and I don't think I'm gonna do anything else today except sit at home and watch Euphoria again, so. I guess that wraps everything up for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed and had a swell time. I know I did. I got quite a few things that I'm really excited about. <coughs> I definitely got a lot less than I normally do, but I got things that I'll actually wear for longer because normally I just like buy things and then wear it once and never touch it again, which is very bad, don't do that. But I think this time I got more basics that I can wear over and over again. And that freaking sweater that's just perfect and amazing and I will be wearing it every day of my life from now on. Expect that sweater in every single future video from now. You can hold me accountable to that. I actually don't hold me accountable to anything, but I love that sweater and that is all okay thank you for watching i love and appreciate you so much peace bye farewell love you the most follow me on all my social medias if you want and that is all okay bye i love you okay bye